What's up, outsiders? Be careful if you're using iPhone Compass for navigation. It doesn't point to True North by default. I'll show you why this is important and how you can change this setting so you're pointing to True North. Last night, I was prepping my outdoor skills class for our upcoming navigation module. I was going over base plate compasses. I gave them my recommendation to use a compass with an adjustable declination correction. I suggested either the Sunto MC2 or what I use, the M3. I'll link to these in the description. One of my students asked if they could use their iPhone. I immediately responded that a compass doesn't require batteries, it's more reliable, yada, yada, yada. You should learn how to use a compass properly. But it got me to thinking, could you actually use the iPhone compass app to navigate? I usually use my Sunto compass or the magnetic compass on my Sunto watch. Both have manual adjustments for declination. For the iPhone compass app to be reliable and easily used for navigation, it would need two things. Number one, a magnetic compass. And number two, a way to adjust the magnetic declination. Good news, the iPhone has a built-in magnetic field sensor called a magnetrometer. The magnetrometer is a magneto-resistive permalloy sensor, whatever that means. So it looks like we're good with number one. Now what about number two, magnetic declination? I did a quick test about this. What I did is I grabbed my Sunto compass, which is set up for the declination in my area, western New York, 11 degrees. You can see this is the declination here. The red is magnetic north. N is true north, and then this is your direction of travel. So if I put that down and orient that towards magnetic north, red in the shed, true north is 11 degrees. And if I bring my iPhone, I can immediately see that it is pointing to magnetic north. Now, I do know that there's magnetic fields behind these which may be throwing them off but if I move one away it doesn't adjust. So we know that the iPhone by default is pointing to magnetic north. So what's the big deal? Well let me try to illustrate using a couple of angles that I created with a protractor. This first line is our true north. It points to the, the north pole. This other line is our magnetic north, represents our degrees of declination. If I take this protractor, this is roughly 11 degrees west declination, or negative 11 degrees. You'll see it both ways. If I take my compass and I put it on this, I'm going to align north with true north. And you can see if I put red in the shed by rotating this a little bit, it's roughly that 11 degrees is where the magnetic needle is pointing to. Now, if I put the iPhone on this, by default, you can see if I align this to true north, where it's actually pointing north is about 11 degrees to magnetic north. So we're definitely set for a magnetic north, not a true north. An easy way to visualize declination is by seeing it across all of North America. I love this picture. I like to remember it this way. Roughly, the Mississippi River is at zero degrees declination and points roughly to true north. The further you get east or west of the Mississippi, the larger the angle between true north and magnetic north becomes. So why is this important? Every degree you are off equates to 920 feet over a 10 mile distance. Over short distances, probably doesn't make a difference. But let's say I'm in the Adirondacks that has a declination of 14 degrees. If I do not set my declination properly, after 10 miles, I'll be almost two and a half miles off course. That's a big deal. Now the question is, does the iPhone have an adjustment for declination? The good news is it does. What you need to do is go into settings, click compass, and then there's a setting for use true north. We're going to click that on, and now if we go back into our compass, 
you can see we are now aligned with true north. And just to illustrate this, I'll go the other way. I'll turn off use true north. We'll go into compass. And now you can see, if we get this right, we're 11 degrees off of true north. If we turn it back on, go into compass, we're back to true north. Would I use the iPhone for navigation? Probably not. It's a handy tool for a quick bearing, but it lacks some of the fundamental features of a base plate compass, like the rotating bezel, orienting lines, and of course the straight edge. All of these are required to transfer a bearing from a map to the field or vice versa. I hope you liked this video. If you did, be sure to click that like button. If you want to see other outdoor how-to videos or outdoor adventure videos, I'd really appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel. That's it for now. I'll see you guys outside.